Hi, Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I'd like to talk to you about a concept called formatting or editing styles with the 90 Second Website Builder software. Now I've got three objects here on my canvas. One of them is just a text object. That's this right here. And a text object is something you get just by grabbing the text tool and you end up with just text, of course. You may or may not have noticed if you've worked with 90 Second for any length of time that sometimes when you're doing something such as creating a hyperlink, which I'm going to do here, I've just selected this word going to right click and go to link. You may have noticed that once you create your link attribute, for example, let's say I want this to go to an outside website, that I can also adjust the appearance or the style of that link. Hyperlinks are displayed in a particular way on a web page and I can adjust how they appear on my web page by using this feature. However, if you've come here the first time, or even more than one time, you may have noticed under the Style tab there might be no styles to choose from. Well, the reason for that is because you get to choose and edit and create your own styles. You, you can think of styles as sort of a preset. Here's what I mean. If I click the Edit Styles button right here, I can create a style of text, in this case, a style for a hyperlink that I can use throughout my entire project. For example, if I click Add to create a new style, and then I just name this, let's call it Greg's Style. Here I can decide how my hyperlinks will look when I assign them to this particular preset or this style. So if I want my links to be, let's say, orange instead of blue, you can see the preview down here, that's what my links will look like. I can make them always be bold, I can set the background color, etc. I can also adjust what the attribute of the link would look like in another state. So for example, when it's hovered over, maybe I want a hovered link to be green, for example. Here's what a hovered link would look like. And again, I can change all of these attributes for a visited link and for an active link. So let's say I've chosen my style, I call it Greg's style, and I save it here. Okay, so now I can use that style whenever I'm editing a link. You'll notice now I have a style to choose from. So I'll choose this one just for the sake of demonstration. That link is actually going to pick up the attributes of that style. That hyperlink style will appear in other objects too, not just the text object. Because here I have an object that's known as a text menu, and it works with hyperlink text, so that style function is in there as well. So while I'm here making my links in my menu, I can also choose a style for those links. So here it is once again, the style, and you'll notice now my Greg style is there to choose from, or I can go back, create new styles or presets, I can use multiple ones, I can remove, I can edit the ones that, that are here. And as long as I assign the link to this particular preset, it will use that style. Okay, let's do it again. Here's another object where you might run into this attribute of using a style. This is not just an image, this is a particular kind of image. I've used the rollover text tool down here in the extra because this is the kind of image that when your mouse rolls over it or hovers over it, text pops up. And that text can have a hyperlink. And wherever I can have a hyperlink, I can have a particular style. So again, if I double click on this, and if I'm creating a link for this particular object, I'm going to be given the option to choose a style. There it is again, the link style. And again, there's my style that I just created, and I can go back and even make more styles. Let's add one here, just Greg's other style. And then of course I would change the attributes of these. And again, you can do all kinds of things. You can change the background color, whatever. That's probably a poor example of how you should make your text links, but you get the idea. You can make them look like however you want to look. So there are my styles. Now anytime I'm working in 90 Second Website Builder and I'm given the opportunity to pick a style, those styles are going to be available for me. And so that's what this text link is going to use. So that's how you would edit those hyperlink styles. But get, let me give you a shortcut because there are other kinds of styles that you can create and save as presets. Here's how you do it. When you go up to the Format menu, you'll see the option Styles. And here, this 
This brings up the style manager. Now we were just working with hyperlink styles right here. As you can see, the two that I created elsewhere are being saved where I can manage them. I can add to them, edit them, remove them, etc. But as you'll notice, the style manager allows me to create other kinds of styles. So for example, let's say I'm working with a text object and I want to use the H1 tag or the heading 1 tag. It's great for search engine optimization purposes. But maybe I don't like the way the software is creating the style for that heading 1 tag. It's just an Arial, black, whatever this is. Well, I can edit that H1 style by clicking Edit and choosing all of the attributes here. I can change the color, I can change the size, the font, etc. So this tells you that you can decide what your H1, H2 tags, etc. appear to look like without losing any of their search engine optimization power. So here you can adjust just by clicking on one and editing it and deciding what it looks like. You can even make a custom style. Well, why would you want to make a custom style? Well, let me show you. One, I could just edit this one and create a custom style, or I could create a new one. Let's do that. Let's create a custom style. We'll call this my style. And let's say I want a particular text style that I'm going to use often. I want it to always be bold, and I'm going to use the font Bookman and I'm going to use the strikeout feature. I'm going to exaggerate this so that you can see all the things or some of the things that it would do. Let's use a bright red. Okay, you can see I've made this particular or this unique style. I've called it my style. There's the example of it right there. So now I've saved a style. Here it is in the style manager. Well, anytime I go to work with text, so for example, let's go get the text tool again. Let's take some text. And let's work with it. Let's say I wanted this to change this. I've selected it. When I go up to the formatting menu bar where I can change the font and the style, I can actually choose one of the styles that I've created. There's my my style. I simply select this and it picks up the attributes that I've selected. This would be really handy if there's a particular setting that you want to use often and it saves you from having to go up and pick everything and choose all of your attributes. Again, you would just save it as a preset. And again, if I was using this text as a header, an H1 tag, and I selected this, it would pick up that particular style. And if I don't like that, the way that looks, I can go back and edit the way my H1 tags look simply by going to the Style Manager. Format, Styles, and here's a Style Manager. You can edit these styles, create your own presets of styles, and use them throughout your project. You can create your own hyperlink styles, as many of them as you want. And again, just use these presets throughout your project anytime you're creating a hyperlink. But there's more. You can even adjust the gradient styles. There are certain objects throughout the software that will allow you to pick a gradient background or whatever. And you'll notice that it comes up with these certain gradient styles that are already pre-made for you. Well, the great news is, is not only can you adjust these if you don't like the way they look, but you can even make your own. And it's a lot easier than it looks. So for example, let's take ocean. Let's say I don't like the way that looks. I can edit that gradient. And it's really easy to do. All I have to do is I can move these bars around. I can add more of these just by clicking on it. Here's another one. I can change the color that this represents by double clicking on it and picking a different color. And as you can see, I've now adjusted the way this particular gradient pattern works. Let's pick another color here. And now I've, I've actually edited the gradient style for ocean. Or rather than mess that one up, I can make my own. I can add my own style. So here's, we'll call it Greg's Gradient. And it gives me sort of a blank canvas to start with. Well, I can double click on this, pick a color. Now I've created a new gradient. I can click out here and add another layer, so to speak. Here's another color. And let's click on this one, pick another color. And as you can see, I'm, I'm designing my own gradient pattern. But what's good about it is I can actually use this gradient throughout the software wherever I'm given the option to choose a gradient. So let's say OK. And there's my gradient pattern that I created right there. 
So the style manager is a way of creating some presets for your fonts, for your H1 tags, your H2 tags, etc., to create custom styles. It's a way for you to pre-design your hyperlink styles. So if you want a hyperlink to not show an underline, you can do that. You would just uncheck this box. And now you have a link right here that doesn't show an underline. So you have pretty much full control and even editing the styles for the presets and gradients and make your own. That's how the style manager works and why you would use it. It's a great shortcut when you're working on your website with 90 Second Website Builder.